Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Rat here from Ratko Tarot and this is going to be weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for Virgo Sun, uh, Libra Sun, Libra Moon and Libra Rising <clears throat> August 27 to September 2nd 2018 Now before we go to the reading guys, in case you do want a personal reading with me um, everything that you need to know about it and how to make an appointment will be listed down there in uh, the description of the video as well as there is a, a end of the summer sale going on which regards to the 30 minutes uh, service and it it literally adds a, a 10 minutes on the 30 minute uh, on the 30 minute service there so if you want to have an extra time this is the service you go for so now <clears throat> The first card that we do have, or the first position here for you, Libra, will represent the topic of your week. Then the second position here represents uh, the core of the situation. The third position, uh, it resembles the difficulties you may face for the duration of the week. And the last position here, it regards to the guidance you should obtain <clears throat> for the week or how you best can cope with... Uh, with whatever the week has to offer to you. So the first card here that we do have, this is going to be the Five of Wands. So uh, this is going to be kind of a crazy week. Now the Five of Wands is associated card with a, a huge dynamic, a lot of turnarounds here and there, a lot of surprises. And those surprises often provoke uh, conflicts in between you, family members, you know, in between you and... Um, partners into a relationship or uh, with uh, co-workers etc or even with your children as well you know etc etc and that is uh, to it the uh, fact that everybody has their own independable thought their own independable opinion and the thing is that the situation haven't been unfolded to such a state here that actually the best possible approach toward it could have been um exerted so and it is why you know everybody will think differently everybody will think that uh, their um, their idea of how the matters can be resolved is actually the best possible idea so what will be important here for the duration of this week and what you can really utilize and capitalize on is the the differences in the opinion of every single one around you so you can pull out at the uh, a positivity or kind of like a a positive understanding from every single person around you until the end you reach that cumulative um, resolution of the situation <clears throat> that you are involved in either into your career or either into your relationship of course this will require from you to change your strategy a little bit so this week for you Libras is going to be a little bit about adapting yourself to certain societies adapting yourself to your parents as well or to your partners partner to your co-workers just so you can <clears throat> extract the most positivity out of their standpoints and out of their um, you know out of their resources if you want to say it that way as well and the next card here represents the core of the situation now this is going to be a woman that we do have Queen of Swords, very forewarned person, someone who uh, kind of have a, a, an information, a person with a, a vast amount of experience. And even if uh, you think you know that your idea should not be trashed away, uh, should not be trashed away, yeah, straight when you presented it. Now this person can see the reason behind it, but as well she can see the predicaments. Uh, I'm saying she, but it could be as well he uh, can see the predicaments that your approach could cause and you need to know here that these conflicts are not meant to slumber you down they are not meant to uh, put you beneath one store they are meant for you to foresee where your uh, strategy will suffer consequences all right and uh, uh, this woman, as it is at the core of the situation, she does not mean any, uh, she doesn't have any ill feelings for you. It is just what, what this person, I'm not say, I'm saying woman, but in general, this person wants you to kind of um, drink, if I may express myself figuratively here, uh, from her um, pool of experience from the past. So that person should be much older than you are. Or it should has a, a much more um, 
kind of like life experience in the field that you are trying to exert yourself in and uh, your stubbornness here may be something that truly obstructs you so when you hear the sound advice of those who live more than you do or they have been involved into that field either into your career or relationship more than you do maybe it will be beneficial for you to kind of listen to them because they as I said are forewarned they do fail when you are trying to push right now and they know how that failure could be prevented and it is what they are trying to do for you. And then the challenges that you need to overcome here will be the Ace of Wands and that card simply speaks that you have to stop to find the means to stop yourself. So uh, Ace of Wands is that primal impulse or kind of like the very initial impulse which people feel within themselves that they have to do something right now in this very moment now is the time you know now is the opening it is kind of now or never situation which is kind of a little bit of fallacy here because the situation could be um could be unfolded a little bit further into the future the ace of wands also uh, as presents us with um a new beginning or kind of like uh, ability to restart a certain situation or to, to place a, a go to a, a new enterprise into our life as well exerts kind of a chaos <clears throat> on top of that and we have to be much more patient with uh, with the energy of that card so we can uh, kind of utilize on that particular chaos the best way that we can uh, capitalize on the spark of this inspiration here because this is how Alistair Crowley says about the card that now this is the spark of the, inspira the inspiration and that inspiration should be uh, ignited <clears throat> by our newfound abilities or by our new found hobbies that we are uh, trying to um, kind of develop you know or our new found talents for example so this week here it is what that that person will try to um, kind of bring to the surface for you that you do have yet unexplored talents and abilities and before you actually proceed with your undertaking here you first have to master those talents and those um, those abilities either in your relationship or either in your career because you may thought that you are terrible in dating you know and in flirting now this person here will try to bring the most out of you into this field to teach you or to show you how to flirt and date so you have the best possible result of that and until you do you do not master that particular thing you should not jump on those big fishes you know that everybody is trying to catch into their nets figuratively spoken and the last card here is how you should that the how you should proceed or rather this is the um the guidance that you should obtain seven of wands it's the card of um snowballing uh snowballing predicaments and troubles you know problems as well seven of wands is the card of a, a foreign infiltration of someone that is trying to infiltrate your personal space but but this is just the general meaning of the card now when it comes to um guidance here how you should act well that card points that you need to put your abilities to the test as we said here you know you need to question your performance you need to question yourself in general you know how much not 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 what your aims are but what you put in in order to get uh, uh, to make those aims true because this card also reflects it especially in this past in this case reflects self um, self opposition or rather like uh, testing oneself in worthy all right <clears throat> so you test yourself for how strong you are you know to proceed on forward knowing that when you press forward um, then someone will press against you or something will press against you now this is a, a natural law of physics third law of Newton here that <clears throat> every force has equal uh, by a, a magnitude and opposite by direction a contra force counter force 
So pretty much this is um, this is the tarot reading here, Libras. You have to be a little bit more patient, and you need to listen. All right, you you got to listen to these people, which or to that person, which is much more experienced and is trying to actually tell you how is the best possible approach toward the situation. They by not by all means are not trying to establish control upon you. And the Lenormand cards here, Libras. They uh, we have the clover with. Um, the heart and then we do have the key uh, uh, that speaks we do have a little profitable or a small that is union or a cooperation here is giving you a, a key to open a door so it's exactly what we talked about here that someone's advice is their little push that they are going to give you, of course, that push needs to be uh, acknowledged and accepted by you, is going to give you huge momentum and open you and an opportunity for you to uh, kind of, uh, you know, simply be better and expand your environment, either career-wise or relationship-wise. So that being said, Libras, this was your weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And in case you're interested, again, in a private reading with me, everything you need to know about it will be down there in the description of this video. Don't forget the uh, Summer Zen Sales, which concerns or regards, excuse me, the 30 minutes reading and adds 10 minutes on top of those 30 minutes. Rat signing out now. See you next time. Bye.